Someone is about to go crazy. And this is just the beginning. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. God says by reason of what he is about to do in your life this September, someone will go crazy. Someone will go crazy. And God says that is just the beginning. God says this month is a month where he is giving you one big break. Three main things that God will be doing for you in the month of September. The first thing is that God will be giving you one big break. One big breakthrough. One major testimony. Something you've not been able to. To handle from the beginning of the year right up to this level. Something you've been believing God for from the beginning of the year right up to this level. Something you've not seen. You've been praying and trusting God for for so long. God says this month he is granting it to you. This month he is answering that overdue, overdue prayers. And then another thing. Nine talks about completion. Jesus died at the ninth hour when he said it is finished. It was at the ninth hour. And that completion was the beginning of a new era. It was, it was, his, his death was the beginning of a new season, of a new era. An era that we could become the, the children of God. An era, so it was, so God says this, he is finishing what he started. He is completing what he started or what he promised in your life. And at the same time, that finishing is launching you to a next level. God promised that you would be a financial giant. Come on, I connect to this one for myself. God promised that you'll be a kingdom financial giant. God says he is finishing that project promise but the finishing of that promise means the manifestation of that promise that is automatically opening you up to a new season to a season of abundance to a season where you are not just blessed but you become a blessing god says he is doing one great thing one great he's giving you one great blessing one great breakthrough in your life and whatever you've been trusting god for that has been overdue. Whatever you started, that project you started and, and it's not been completed. God says it is being completed in the mighty name of Jesus. God is completing it in the mighty name of Jesus. God is completing it in the mighty name of Jesus. And then the, th the next thing that God told me for this month is coming to us from 1 Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 22. It says, David received help day by day. David received help day by day. Every great man is a helped man. And God says, I should tell someone, this very month has been declared your month of help. You are going to receive help daily. You are going to receive help daily. It means before there is a need, God has sent someone with a provision. Before there is confusion, God has sent you, given you direction. Before you are stranded, God will send excuse, someone to help you out. God says, this month you will receive help day by day. This month you will receive help day by day. Every day in your life you will be helped. Every aspect of your life you will receive help. Not just any kind of help, but divine help. God says I should tell someone, this very month, God is connecting you to your divine destiny helpers. God is connecting you to your divine destiny helpers. This very month, someone will speak well of you. Someone will recommend you in the right quarters. This very month, someone will recommend you for the right job that is better than where you are right now. Come on, who is connecting to this? This very month, someone will connect you to your kingdom spouse. Someone somewhere, oh, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me. He said, 
what you are believing God for is another person's present level and they are trusting God too for a higher level. And your and, and, and your present level, your next level is someone's present level who is trusting God also for a next level. And all God, the, the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. All God needs to do is to tune the heart of that person or give them an instruction to meet your need, to sow a seed in your life, to bless you. And then in return, it will open doors for their own next level. That is the circle of life. We are one another's keeper. It means that your breakthrough is in the hands of someone else and their breakthrough is in the hands of someone else. And that is is how it happens so you are, you are you are believing god for marriage praying for god to send you a kingdom husband and there is a kingdom husband somewhere believing god to find a wife so god says this month by divine connection god will be connecting you to the right person god is linking you up to your kingdom spouse god is connecting you to your kingdom spouse there is about to be a divine connection or a divine recommendation in the mighty name of Jesus. There's about to be a divine recommendation in the mighty name of Jesus. God is connecting you to the right person. God is bringing you closer to the right people. Every hanging prophecy over your life, this month it is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. This month it is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. Nine talks about three times three, which the, and three talks about divinity. It means this is God emphasizing by himself or vying to himself that what he promised you will come to pass. What he promised you when God says something once, twice, three times, that is God emphasizing and taking a vow that it will come to pass. So what God promised you this month, it will come to pass. What you saw from the beginning of the, of the year and you've not been able to handle, this month you will handle it in the mighty name of Jesus. This month it will come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything you've been trusting God for, it will come to pass. And I hear the Holy Spirit telling me to pray for someone because you just stepped into the ember months. And the ember months are known to be filled with so many calamities, so many evil satanic sacrifices so many witchcraft practices god says i should pray for you and decree this month there shall be no loss in your life in the name of jesus you will not lose anything in the name of jesus you will not lose your life you will not lose opportunities you will not lose finances you will not bury anyone you will not have reason to cry. You, from this month right to the end of the year, through these ember months, you are preserved, you are protected in the mighty name of Jesus. You are preserved, you are protected. Everything that belongs to you is preserved and protected. No evil will come near you in the name of Jesus. No weapon forged against you shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus. They may come at you in one way, but they'll flee in seven ways in the mighty name of Jesus. You are protected. You are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This month is your best month this far. Someone, I hear the Holy Spirit tell me this is the instruction for someone to connect to this. Plant a seed that will carry you for the month. Plant a seed to connect to this to these prophetic declarations. Plant a seed that will carry you throughout this month, and you will see these declarations come to pass in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see, just check the description box. You'll see the cash app and the PayPal there. Or you can just simply click on Super Thanks and plant a seed. A seed that is challenging to what you have been planting normally. A seed that challenges what you are normally planting. 
You don't want to end the year the way you started it. You don't want to finish this year the way you started it. Plant a seed. Connect however you are led in your spirit. And you will see this month come around, turn around for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.